Hello, I'm Aaron Marino from Alpha M Image Consulting. So the other day, I was in Starbucks behind a guy who just got done ordering his mocha frappuccino. The barista gave him his total. The guy smiled, reached behind him, pulled out his wallet to pay. <coughs> I think I may have a coupon in here somewhere for this ice cold mocha frappuccino, ma'am. Let me check. Do you accept playing cards? Dude, no me gusta, amigo. Today, we're talking about wallets. Guys, we need to start thinking of our wallet as an accessory. Now, it's true, wallets are very rarely seen, but as an image conscious alpha male, it's the little things that set you apart from the masses of men who don't pay attention to the little details. Wallets, that's one of those little details. 99% of us carry some form of wallet to carry our driver's license, state-issued ID, medical marijuana card, condom. For the record, never carry condoms in your wallet. The reason is, the chance of you damaging that condom, very high. The chance of you actually needing that condom, very low. All that sitting on that condom for the past 10 years hoping that finally this is the night is only damaging that condom. You get the condoms, you want to bring one out, stick it in your pocket, stick it in your sock. I don't care, you could wear the damn thing, just not in your wallet. Credit cards, membership cards, receipts, before you know it, your wallet, if you're not careful, could look like this. It's basically like a filing cabinet wrapped in leather that you systematically and so carefully jam in the back of your pants. Let me tell you something, guys. You're at a restaurant. You're at a Starbucks trying to impress a really cute barista. You pull this big mama out, and let me tell you something. This says lazy, irresponsible, and disheveled. There's nothing sexy or positive about carrying something around that looks like this. We can do better, gentlemen, and so today, let's go over the different options for carrying our cash. Let's start with wallets. First up is the most common, the bifold wallet. Simple design, place for your money, place for your credit cards, and a slot for your ID. Simple and classic. Bifold wallets are the most widely used wallets out there. Uh, but that doesn't mean that you have to stick to just your plain, classic, simple, black, or brown. There are different variations of the bifold wallet. I found one the other day online. It's brown leather, has a snap, open it up. It's got place for your ID, credit cards, cash, something funky, something different, something a little cool. It wasn't that much. It was like 15 bucks. I thought, eh, why not? I could always use a new wallet that's a little bit interesting. Next up, the trifold wallet. The trifold wallet is very similar to the bifold, except there's one extra fold, making the square a bit smaller than the bifold. However, that extra flap or that extra fold does have the tendency to make this wallet a little bit bulkier and a little bit more thick. So make sure that your wallet isn't overloaded with extra cards and receipts and you'll be just great. Next up, the coat wallet. The coat wallet was designed to be carried on the inside pocket of your coat or jacket. The construction is a little bit more long and rectangular. You open it up and there is multiple slots for credit cards, cash, and ID. You don't want to carry this wallet in your back pocket because it will stick out, making it much easier for pickpockets to steal your stuff. Next up, the chain wallet. No, no, no. I mean the chain wallet. The chain wallet became popular back in the 1970s by bikers, more specifically the Hells Angels. The chain wallet is typically a trifold wallet with snaps that goes in your back pocket. The chain is attached to a little snap that goes on your belt or belt loop. Nobody's stealing this wallet from you. It is a very casual look. There are different chains that you can buy to express your individual style. All right, so there are some wallets that go in your back pocket or inside your coat pocket, but there are options for front pockets as well. Let's go over those. The first up is the money clip. This is a picture of a very simple standard money clip. You use this to keep all your bills together and typically carry it in your front pocket, but they are doing a lot of great things with money clips. Check out this cool one with skulls. Simple and basic, yes. Another option is the credit card holder. Another option is the sleek and stylish credit card carrying case, which is perfect for carrying IDs and credit cards. The only issue with this 
is carrying your cash and accessing that cash. Because you've got to fold up the cash and stick it down into the box, it is a little bit tougher to access than the money clip or regular wallet. But one day, Mr. Money Clip was in the bar getting drunk. In walks credit card holder and she was looking fine. The two of them start talking, having drinks, end up in the bathroom and boom! They create one of the most incredible inventions ever. The Money Clip credit card holder. The union of one perfect creation! So now you're thinking, Aaron, is there a right or a wrong way to carry your cash and cards? Yes, there is a wrong way. You don't want to wad it up and stick it down your pants. You also don't want to crinkle it up and stick it in your sock. These two would be wrong ways to carry your cash and cards. Why would you want to do that when there are so many great options to carry it? Um, all these options are just a few examples of the different designs and variations on wallets. Front pocket, back pocket, inside your, I mean, Whatever. You can find a tremendous amount of different options out there. You don't need to stick to just the classic black and brown, simple, bleh, bleh, boring. There are creative and fun ways for you to carry your cash and cards. The good news, there are a tremendous amount of options for carrying your cash. The bad news, wallets do wear out over time. So, let's do a little test together, guys. I want you to reach in your pocket and pull out your wallet. Take a look. Is it real fat? and big and overflowing with receipts and cards and cash and all that good stuff. If it is, we need to thin it out. Now think about it, guys. You might have 18 credit cards. Do you use all 18 credit cards every day, every week, every month? Probably not. So what you can do is take some of the ones that you don't use regularly and stick them in a drawer, lock them up in a safe, put them somewhere else. All the business cards, all the receipts, take them out and have a designated place in your home. Don't carry them around in your wallet. What that's going to do is make your wallet a little bit more thin and a little bit more presentable. But that's just a little side note. Thin your wallet out if it's real thick and big. Next, take a look. If your wallet was black, is it still black? If it was brown, is it still brown? Or is it worn out, scuffed up, and looking kind of rough? If it's looking rough, it's probably time for you to invest in a new one. Now, the great news, wallets are also not that expensive. Sure, you can spend a lot of money on high-end designer wallets, but you can pick up a perfectly good and presentable wallet that's sexy and appealing for like $15, $20, $30. Not going to break the bank. Wallets wear out. Over time, they start to look like hell. The stitching will start to come out. They'll start to get all disformed and shapen from where you're sitting on it. Replace your wallet about once a year. And it's also a good idea, have multiple wallets. Have a black one when you're wearing black shoes or brown one when you're wearing brown shoes if you really want to get into it that much. I don't. <laughs> okay, I do. By paying attention to the little details like wallets, is going to set you apart from the masses of guys who are carrying around things that look like this. Chances are, if you're carrying around something like this, the rest of you is going to be disheveled, unorganized, and out of whack also. The guy that carries the clean, concise wallet is the guy that's put together and looking sharp all the time. I have a sneaking suspicion. Guys, it's the simple things that make big difference. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. A lot of the wallets that I showed in this video I found at the fashionforwardman.com. There's a link down below or in the sidebar. It's another image consultant that I found. His name is George and he actually has a little store in his image consulting website. Um, really reasonably priced wallets and bracelets and necklaces. He even has clothes. Like I actually purchased this summer cardigan that looks like this. Simple black and white cardigan, double button, thought it was kind of cool, thought I'd give it a shot and uh, here it is. There's a bunch of other stuff that he has. Everything's really reasonably priced. Uh, free shipping everywhere. These were two items that caught my eye. Uh, go check it out. See if you find something you like. Have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.